Hey, hey everyone, this is Jen with Jen Stan Art. Long time no see on my page. Tell me hello when you get here. I would love to say hello to you and say hi to everyone. Okay, I'm here. I am here. Tell me hi. Tell me hi when you get here. Let me see if I can see your comments. Hey, hey guys. How's it going? So just to give you a little update over the last like, what, three months, I have been in the process, or my husband and I, Michael, have been in the process of moving from Montana all the way back to Louisiana. So we kind of got the seasons backwards. We probably should have stayed in Montana during the summer <laughs> and moved back to Louisiana during the winter, but um, it just didn't work out that way. So we are here now. Hello everyone. Hey, Michelle and Pat and Cindy and Lynn. Thank y'all all for being here today. Um, I wanted to come on today and start coming live to you guys and start sharing some things that we're working on for this fall. Now that we are back in business and we have everything set up in our shop, Obviously, you can see behind me, I still don't have any stuff on the walls yet or anything, but we are moved in, we are rocking and rolling, and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to paint with all of y'all today. So, tell us, hey, hello, Miss Gloria, tell us where you're watching from, hello, Renee, and Cindy, Barnett, thank y'all all for coming on. And do me a favor, um, give me a little love and uh, sprinkle the love, which means hit the little share button at the bottom. I don't think I'm supposed to say that word, but I just said it. So this is what I'm working on. I just opened my Etsy shop back up. And there's a couple of items that I usually um, sell in my Etsy shop that like blow me away. And, and I'm really, really busy working on those every year. And I share my techniques with my tribe members and they also sell the same items that I see that are really popular. And then they learn how to paint them with me and then they sell them as well. Maybe not Etsy, maybe they just sell them to their neighbors or they give us gifts or things like that. So what I'm doing today is I am working on a new design for uh, one of my items that I sell in my Etsy shop. I don't have a clue what it is, but I just want to take you through a couple of things that we're working on right now so that maybe you can see how I get my inspiration and how I come up with some of the, some of the things I come up with. So one of them is, let me just show you, I'm going to take you through a few things. Let me take my face off of here. So you can see what I'm doing. Thank you so much for sprinkling, Miss Pat. I really appreciate it. Hello, Miss Margaret from New York. I see someone from New York, and I see Pamela, and I see oh, Miss Rita is from New York. How's the weather in New York? I always love to know what kind of weather y'all are having. Hey, Miss Pat from Tennessee. What's going on there? I see Carla is on YouTube. She's watching YouTube live. Yes, I am streaming to a few different platforms right now. So you may catch me on YouTube. You may catch me on my Facebook page as well. So here's a couple of things that I like to work on that are small and easy. And I just wanted to share um, a couple of them with you so you can see what I do. And um, maybe we can come up with a new design today um, and see how it does in, in my Etsy shop. So let's see. So one of the things that I sell a lot of are these little shelf sitters. Um, this is in a bag because I sell them to, um, I sell them at art stores in the local area. And so this is like, in, it's in a little bag because I have my little card in it and stuff. But um, I also sell them on Etsy and I ship them out. So these, this is probably a four by four. It's a little pumpkin uh, shelf sitter. I call these shelf sitters. This is something that sells really, really well uh, during this time of the year or starting, you know, coming up the next couple of months. Another thing that I do a lot of is I sell these 
bags. And again, they're in bags because they're actually going to a store to be sold. I sell these tags on these wooden um, pieces here. And hey, Miss Kathy from Washington State. It's going to be hot this week. Yeah, we're hot too. Um, hot in Tennessee, cloudy and humid in New York. Okay. Nova Scotia. Hey, Margaret from Nova Scotia. I love it. So um, this is like an Easter piece that I sell, and I sell a lot of these. This is probably like eight inches or so high. Um, so that's something that I've done before. And then this is another one. This one, I, I hang these on my Christmas tree. This is, or you can just hang it like, you can just hang it anywhere. You can hang it on a doorknob. You can, um, you can hang it like on your coat rack for little decorations. This is probably a seven inch um, piece right here. And um, I paint on these and they, they really do well. Like they're really hot items. If you're interested in selling anything, that would be something that um, you can put out there. So yes, it is a surprise live, Miss Carla. So this is something that I was gonna work on today. I wanna show you, I also sell these, um, these tags because my husband makes them for me. So I'm trying to see, yeah, this is the seven inch and this is the eight and a half inch. So I'm, I like, you get a much better deal if you buy them in bulk. Um, so usually I do like three like this. You get two seven inch and one eight and a half inch in a, um, in a set. And if you look in the description, you will see these available for purchase. Um, it comes with jute for you to hang it and then um, it comes already cut and sanded with the hole in it as well. So my husband, Michael, some of y'all probably know him because you've seen him on lives before. He, um, he is in the woodworking shop right now working on some things. Um, we are now doing a lot of woodworking um, in our business as well. So one of the items that I sell in my Etsy shop are these blank wood tags. And like I said, I sell a ton of these during the holidays. So what I want to do today um, is I want to come up with a new design to add into my Etsy shop on these tags. So I'm just actually going to play around with something. And I'm, I've been, if you have not seen yet, let me see if I can find it. You think I would know where it is, huh? Oh, I've been in the sunflower mood. For those of y'all who follow me on a regular basis, you know that we are going to be painting this in a couple of weeks in a uh, pop-up paint party. Um, and by the way, if you have not signed up, come on in. It's only $10 for a three-day live Facebook event. Um, this is an invitation to non-tribe sisters and non-mini tribe sisters. You get to come join us for one painting for a three-day celebration. And you get to paint this with us in a private Facebook group. So you get to see what we're all about inside the tribe and on the inside and see um, what we do. So it's $10. You'll see the, the link in the description. And we're going to paint this on a 16 by 20. This is an 11 by 14, um, but I'm going to paint it bigger next time. So anyway, I've been in, in the sunflower mood and the, the super cool part about this one. I always, whenever I do a pop-up paint party, I always like to do something unique that um, will, you will learn something, a new technique that you have never done before. So this, this pop-up paint party, the new technique that I'm using is um, how to make raindrops on a window. So um, we're going to learn how to do that. And that's going to be super fun. I have some little secrets and some little tricks for doing that. So Hello from Louisiana, Miss Melanie. How are you? Yeah, it's 98 degrees here as well. All right, so I'm in the sunflower mood, and this is old paint on here. I mean, you can, you can actually just peel this off. This is old paint that I have, and I'm just using this. This is my paint palette. So um, I'm going to grab some paints, and I think I'm going to start with, we're going to make this kind of quick. I'm going to start, my mind is setting um, sunflowers with, um, you know, like just a really basic background. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the sunflowers first. Let me get my paint colors. I'm going to grab some yellows. Um, 
course, all your different shades of yellows. I didn't grab my paints in, in um, advance. I should have done that. A little, little bit of orange. So this is a pyral orange. You see how pretty that is? That's a super cool color. Um, let's do a, let's do a blue. Let's do kind of like a turquoisey blue. Let me grab that for a background. A little bit of a Payne's gray in there. And let me get my black and white. So black is right here. I'm using carbon black. And my white. Put this over here. This is an extra stash of paints that I have over here. So I am going to grab my white as well. So this might do. I might, I'm going to need some green too. Okay, so I have some green right here. I have some hookers green. Oh, that's not even open yet. Let me go ahead and open that up. All right, that's just a little, little. I use all acrylics, by the way, if you have not noticed. And I use a variety of acrylics, no one brand. Um, I do not use craft paints hardly at all. I usually buy your two paints. Um, and let's get, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a large paintbrush. I have no idea what I'm doing, y'all. I just wanna let you know. So we're gonna we're gonna design this together. I'm looking for my um, paper towels. One day I'll be organized. Oh, if it would have been a snake, it would have bit me. It's right here in front of me. So here we go. Hello, Miss Elizabeth. Yay! 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 yay. Yes, Miss Peggy, you always have access to my um, to my pop-up paint parties. As long as you stay in the private Facebook group, the private Facebook group stays open um, for as long as you want to have access to the uh, to the painting. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to use some turquoise and some Payne's gray. It's actually called bright aqua green. You may have seen that color before if you've been to any of those local craft stores like Hobby Lobby <laughs> or Michaels. These are all Hobby Lobby brands, Master's Touch. They use those a lot. All right, so I'm going to make this pretty. Let's see. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Yeah, y'all can. Okay, so this is a it's kind of like, let's get some white in there because that's a little bit too dark. I might do some palette work on this one, y'all. I'm making a new design for my, that's still a little bit too dark. Let's go a little bit lighter. I want something a little bit more bright and cheery. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in a lot of this. These little tags are, um, the one I'm working on right now is an eight and a half, it's eight and a half inches tall. And it is um, three and a half inches wide. So I'm just covering the whole thing. Nothing special. I mean, I, I'm not even gonna cover the whole thing. See, I'm gonna leave some of it not painted. Can y'all see me okay? How's my view here? Looks like it's all right. Fluid matte medium is the same as glazing medium. No. They will, they will provide the, a very similar purpose though. The fluid matte medium is, is matte. Like it's gonna, it's not gonna be shiny, but the glazing medium is gonna dry with a little bit of shine to it. So that's really the main, the main difference. Okay, so I'm just making a fun background here. A little bit more, I want a little bit more of that turquoise color in there. I'm going a little bit too white. Okay. Now, one of my most popular items that sells on, um, on Etsy is, I don't have any in stock, so I'm not able to show y'all uh, in person, but I'm going to show you on my Etsy shop. Let me see if I can find my Etsy shop real quick. 
and we can run this names. I'm going to type it in. Tag. Here it is. Y'all see this? This right here, I'm going to blow it up. You'll see that? That's, that's one of my most popular sold items on my Etsy shop. Y'all see that? It's just a cluster of pumpkins. And um, I make these in bulk. Like, I'll make like 20 at a time. I'll just line them up and make them. And I sell them on Etsy. And they, they sell super, super good. So I'm just trying to show you some other pictures. See, it's just hanging on an old door doorknob. You can hang them on, um, on different things. Some people even just put them in their, um, in their tier trade. Here's another one that sells really, uh, it's really popular and it sells a lot. See, it's just a little cluster of pumpkins. So what I'm gonna do, instead of doing a cluster of pumpkins, I'm gonna do a cluster of sunflowers. Um, and so I'm just gonna start with, I think I'm gonna go with a palette knife. What do y'all think? So I'm just gonna go with some yellows. I'm cleaning off this. And I try to do a little cluster of sunflowers. So I'm gonna have some yellow. I'm gonna put a lot because we use a lot of this. A little bit of this spiral orange. Oops, that was not supposed to come out so fast. And some of this cad yellow. See the difference in these two yellows? Can y'all see that? Here we go. So don't pay attention to all this dry paint. That's just old paint on this palette. So this right here is a cadmium yellow medium, and this is a cadmium yellow deep. Okay, see the difference? This one's got a little bit more of that orange color in it. Um I'm going to put some more white in a spot. Let's see how we're going to do this. Okay. All right. I'm going to start. Let me get me a little paintbrush that I can just like draw with. And I'm just going to outline my thoughts here. Okay. Let me grab some white. So, I'm thinking that one is going to have a big center right about here. Let's go bigger. So, that's going to be where my center is. And then, it's going to be pointed up. So I'm gonna have a stem. I'm just using my paint as a as a uh, as a drawing tool right now. Just use any color you want. All right, so that's gonna be one, and then I'm gonna kind of make another one over here. So I'm thinking the same concept as the pumpkins, but I'm gonna do it with sunflowers. Then I'm gonna make. I don't want them to be. Uh, I don't want them to be looking the same. And then I'm gonna make another one like facing straight forward right there. Um, let me think. I want. I want these up here to be a little bit smaller, and then the one down here. I want that one to be big. So I'm gonna make sure that this one's big. And then I'm gonna make two other ones. Okay, so that's kind of where the centers of my sunflowers are going to be. And then I'm going to have some stems coming off like that. Now, I already see I don't like that I've lined these up right on top of each other. So, and it's always good to work in threes when you're working. I feel like I'm on top of the camera. It's always good to work in threes when you're working on clusters like this. Um, it's just a good number. It works better than... Um, then go in and even numbers, just always go in odd numbers. And threes always seem to work better, just for sale purposes. And if you've ever taken any like photography classes, they'll tell you that kind of stuff too. For design purposes, it's always better to work in threes. 
All right, so that's where my three, I moved this one over just a little bit. That's where my three um, sunflowers are going to go. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm not going to use a palette knife just yet because I want more of a design focus before I start, um, before I start hitting the palette knife. So when I look at the sunflowers, I want them to be, um, I want this one to be in front of all of the other ones. So I'm going to start back here and I'm going to make sure that I, when I make this one, I'm going to finish this one first and then this one's going to be on top of it. So it's going to look like it's in front of it. And then this one's going to be on top of that one, so it looks like it's in front. If I went the other way around, then I would be working with this one would be behind everything. But I really want that one to be like the big focus. So I'm going to do this one last. I'm going to start up here. Does that all make sense? So basically, whatever you want um, your design, whatever you want in the front, you paint that last. And whatever you want to show in the back, you paint that first. Okay, so because you're going to be laying on top of each other. So um, let me grab another paintbrush. I'm going to grab a few different paintbrushes. The reason why I'm going to do that, even though they might be very similar in size, is because I don't want to have to keep on cleaning my paintbrush and, and transferring to a different color. I um I paint, like I'll paint a little bit of yellow, then I'll paint a little bit of green, then I'll paint a little bit of black, then I'll paint a little bit of yellow, and I'll go back and forth and back and forth. So it's much easier to just have a paintbrush for each one of those colors so that you can keep that color on the paintbrush and you don't have to keep on cleaning your paintbrush and going back into the paint color. So I'm going to grab um, a few different paintbrushes right around the same size for the purpose of not having, not wanting to clean the paintbrush off every time I switch colors. Okay, so that's just a little trick that might help y'all. These are all different paintbrushes, y'all. They are not the same exact paintbrush, but they, they're all gonna do a little, you know, they're all gonna be um, very similar in their use. So I'm gonna start with this one because I love um, filbert brushes. I'm gonna start with that one. And I'm gonna grab the black first. I like to start with the center. And although my paint did not dry, you can tell. I'm gonna try to make the center a little more. Now the reason why I'm, I'm um, I don't know if y'all can see this, up. The reason why I'm doing this on my on my uh, my paper towel is because I'm trying I'm taking the paint off and I'm reapplying the paint color because you see when I when I put my paintbrush in this color it's mixing with the yellow and the white and it's making like this ugly greenish gray color and I don't want that color on my paintbrush so I'm just grabbing my paper towel and I'm wiping it off. And then I'm grabbing some fresh black back on. And then I'm wiping it off and then I'm grabbing some fresh black. So I'm not using the water. I'm just um, using a paper towel right now. Okay, so I'm using solid black right now, but I'm going to come back and make some, some lighter colors. Okay. Now I'm cleaning it off because I'm done with the black for now. I don't want to use it anymore. And I'm going to grab some green. Now that's a very dark, almost, I've never used this paint before. It's almost a... Uh, super, super hunter green, 
it's, it says hooker's green on it, but I feel like it's so much darker. And you know, depending on the brand of paint you use, you're gonna get, even though it says hooker's green, it's still gonna be like a different shade of green, no matter what brand you use. They're, they're never exactly the same. So, but they'll be close to the same thing. This is totally way too dark. So I'm gonna add some of this lime to make it a little lighter. And I'm gonna add just a teeny bit of white. I'm going to make some stems. These stems are just going to be super big. Make those come off. And then a few little leaves. I'm keeping it really, really loose, y'all. We're just going to, we're just going to stack and play. Don't like that green. That's a brand new green that I've never used before. And for this project, it's just not the right green. So maybe a sap would be better. Let's see. And this is a much more expensive green. Yeah, see, that's much greater. Okay, let's so I'm going to kind of fill that in. Give it a little more pizzazz. Let's put a big leaf right here as well. I'm not sure if it's going to show. All right, so now let's have some fun. Let's start designing our sunflowers on here. I have no idea how this is going to come out, y'all, so bear with me. I'm going to start with this dark, dark yellow. Um, it is transparent. You can tell it's transparent because you can see the blue coming through. But we're going to make it less transparent as we go by adding layers. I'm just making some flowers, just the petals. First layer, don't worry about it, it's going to get better. I'm going to come back with some white. Just because it's way too transparent for me. This is really going to be cute once we're done. Clean that off. Let me grab myself a palette knife. So you get to see my palette knife stash. Hmm. Let's see. What am I going to use here? What palette knife will work? This one looks good. I like it. See that one? That's my palette knife stash. I have about a hundred of them. <laughs> I like this one because it's pointed on the end. So I'm going to try that one. All right. Switching gears here. I'm grabbing a bunch of paint. Come in here. See how pretty that looks now? Because of that, the layer of the paint is so much thicker with a palette knife. So I'm staying on top. Of the other colors. See how much I'm putting on here.
just watch it take shape. Just be patient. Watch it take shape. You see how I almost, I basically hid almost my whole green because I didn't know what I was going to be doing. All right. So I'm going to come back in here. This is going to be another sunflower. So I'm going to add some more black. To let this dry a little bit before I add the next layer. So let me grab some white. I'm going to come down here. Now I have this really cool uh, palette knife. Let me show you. It might be too big though for this little piece that I'm doing. Okay, here it is. See this one? Do y'all have one like that in your stash? Michael is just waiting for someone to stash a palette knife. That sure was a stash knife. <laughs> yes, that is a stash of palette knives. I buy new ones because I just like buying stuff. <laughs> It's like, oh, I don't have one of those. Let me buy the whole pack because there's one hanging out there that looks pretty cool. Okay, let me show you this one. This this um, palette knife is pretty cool. You can kind of, kind of make a, a leaf kind of with it. I'm adding a little bit of white in my... You know what I'm going to do with this one? I'm going to do this one different because I want this one to look like it's facing to the left. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to make most of the flower. I like the white in the paint. It looks better than just the uh, yellow. Okay, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make this side be much more aggressive in the petals. And I'm going to make these petals. I might not be able to add that third, um, that third um, sunflower, y'all. It's going to be a little bit too, too uh, crowded. So I might just be doing two. However, it makes me a little disappointed because I like to do things in threes. So I might make a little, let's see, I might make some little adjustments. I'm going to make this one look like the petals are turned this way. So I'm going to pull those petals that way. And by doing that, I'm actually going to scrape some of this off. See, this is what you call creating in 
in the in the moment. Okay, so you see how I'm making it? I'm making it look like it's going this way now. This is like playing with the butter <laughs> when you start doing the palette knife stuff. Let's get our greens back in there. Let's get our stem. So I encourage you, if you don't know what you want to do, like I didn't know what I wanted to do just a little while ago, just do it anyway. And try it and see what happens. So I have taken the opportunity with you all today to basically just show you how I play and how I am, I allow myself to make mistakes. And, but it's still fun. It's just, and, and maybe it'll be a total disaster. It's looking pretty good right now. But, um, you know, just take the time and just try it. Now I'm doing, okay, so I'm on a live right now. Okay, I'm live with y'all. So I'm not giving myself um, time to let it dry. And I probably should wait in between layers to, um, to have a little bit more, you know, to have just a little bit more patient, patience to get the things exactly like I want them. But since I don't have the opportunity to do that because I'm on a live, I'm just going to play and even though there's like very very thick layer of paint on here um, and it's all super wet I'm just gonna play with y'all anyway I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do now I want some of this orange I love 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 this is like this is the part of the um, the sunflowers that I love the most it's when you start making that that orange right on the base of the sunflower and you start making it um, having more shadows. Now this orange is totally, totally off, but that's okay. We're gonna fix it as we go. I'm gonna show you how. Add in just a teeny bit that orange on the top. Y'all, I'm hardly touching. Like, I'm seriously hardly touching this paint because I have so much paint on here. All right. I want a little bit of a, I want a little bit of a golden color. So I need a little bit of brown. Brown. Here we go. Let me show you what the brown is going to do. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to add a third flower. What do y'all think? Hello, Miss Ruth. Hey, Patricia. What do y'all think? Are we going to add a third flower? I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. All right, so let's add a little bit of orange. Now that's more of the Not being able to show y'all because it's still super wet. So let's go this route. And then mix this together. A little bit of orange and brown. Myself going further and further back. <laughs> I 
So I basically, I just added a little bit of brown to my orange. This one needs work. I like this one a lot, but the one at the top needs some work. Get more green in there. I need some white. So now I'm pulling down from the top of the petals, coming back in with a lighter, um, a lighter yellow, just on the, the tips, just on the tips. into the paint too much. And when the paintbrush digs into the paint, you go it goes all the way back to the original surface, which is that blue. And I don't want it to do that. So that's why my finger worked better. It's like a fat, you know, big old fat fingers work better than trying to stick a paintbrush in it. All right, let's add a little bit of brown. I like the brown better, so I'm just tapping away to get instead of the black, I'm just adding the brown. All right, now let's make another stem. Get some green up here too. Okay, coming together. What do y'all think? I'm working on a really small surface, so kind of a little tricky to get exactly what you want. I feel like the grains need to be a little bit darker. There we go. 
and then have some fun on the sides. I'm going to make some leaves up on the sides. Look how pretty that is. And go on the side too. Y'all, I'm a messy, messy painter, as you can tell. But in the end, it always seems to make a, a you know, you don't know where it's going, and then all of a sudden you have this piece, and you're just like, how did I do that? <laughs> you ever do that? Look how pretty it is. I really like it. I just put my finger in the paint there, but I really like the way this is coming out. Um, I'm going to let it dry, and the probably the last thing that I would do to it if you want to add just a little pop, now this is just a little extra. Let me get my color. Oh, look, it's right here. This would just make it have a little bit more pop, and it's totally, totally, you know, it's, you don't have to do this, but I love the little pop of like a, a dark red. So this is alizarin crimson hue, and I'm going to see if I can make this color. Pop. I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow to it. Yeah, see that color? And then I'm going to add, that's a little bit, let me get some more yellow. A little bit too dark. It kind of makes it a little bit more of like a fall flower arrangement if you just kind of put some little sprinkles around. Oh, it's raining outside. Just a few little dots. I'm using the back of the paintbrush to do this. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more green in those areas to make it look like it's a little, a little flower arrangement or something, you know, like, like there's something else going on there. Just a little bit more green. Okay, so I think I'm done. Isn't it cute? All right, so then what I would do, which I do not, I don't even know where my jute is right now. What I would do then is I would take a piece of this jute and I would, well, of course I would let it dry first, okay? Let it dry completely. So this is gonna be an overnighter to dry because look how thick the paint is. Like I have a ton of paint on here. Isn't it cute? So how cute would that be to hang on a, a doorknob or um, I've seen people hang them on their, um, just like on their walls even, like on each side of like a, a little, a cute little piece of uh, decoration or on their coat racks when you walk in your house, you might have a couple or like your hat rack or something. You just like add a little bit of decor there and they're super fun. I see so many people, um, using these tags for so many things. And like I said, my husband makes them for us. Um, it's free shipping and the shipping is expensive. Y'all these days, shipping is not cheap. If, if you order, um, if you order just like one of these, it's like $4 to ship something like this. So I, I apologize for the, you know, the price, but I'm giving you free shipping for that. If you want to order some, it would be super fun for Michael would be excited to make some for you. I have a few in stock already, so if you make some, um, if you make some things, make sure that you share it on my free Facebook page or Facebook group. We have a free group where you can share all of the things that I do on my tutorials with y'all. I'm super excited with the way that this came out. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna post it once it's dry. I'm gonna take some cute little pictures of it and I'm gonna post it on my Etsy shop and I see how it does. 
see if people like it. And if they don't like it, then I'll try a different design. Or sometimes what I do is I'll try like three or four different designs of, and I'll just like line them up and I'll, I'll make different things. And then I'll put them all on my Etsy shop. And then um, I'll see which one sells the best. And then the one that sells the best, then I'll just make that my main design and I'll get rid of the other ones. So that's just some fun ways. If you like doing things and you like selling stuff on the side to just make a little extra cash, that's something that I love to do as well. I love, 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 love making things and sending them to people and watching them open them and, and see how excited they get. So, um, so yeah, let me know if you decide to paint this and come and join us in our pop-up paint party. Now, this one here, you see this one here, this is not a palette knife um, sunflower painting. This is actually a paintbrush. And we, um, we purposely paint this in three days so that we can let each layer dry before we add the next layer on because you see how many layers all of these um all of these flowers have you have to allow your paint to dry now you can always use a um you know a blow dryer or something but i don't have that set up here yet because we're still in the in the moving stage so um but yeah let me know if you like this click the like button and follow me for more tutorials. I will be coming on more often now that we are settled in our new house. And we are going to be opening the tribe again in a couple of weeks. And we have lowered our prices. It used to be $35 a month. But because of the economy, we just want to give you all a break. And we lowered the price to $29 a month now. So, um, you know, gas prices went so high and I was just like, this is crazy. Like, this is just crazy. Uh, groceries are more expensive. You know, we're all feeling the effects of it. And so I thought it would be, um, I thought it would be a good thing to lower the price. So it used to be $35 a month to join Jensen Art Tribe because we have almost 200 painting tutorials in there. But now it's $29 a month and you can cancel at any time. The, 20, the monthly subscription gives you access to the, the tribe library and all of our live Facebook tutorials that we do weekly in our, um, face, our private Facebook group. Um, and if you wanted to join for an annual subscription, I went down from, I think it used to be $385 or maybe $350. I think it used to be $350. Now it's $300. So the annual subscription, that's only $25 a month if you if you um, get the annual subscription and you're locked into that price for as long as you stay a member. So I hope you take advantage of the lower prices that um, we have now and come on in and paint with us because we have so much fun and come and join the pop-up paint party and see what we're all about. It's only $10 and then from there, you can decide whether um, you would wanna join the tribe or not. So y'all have a good day. Thank you all. God bless you for coming on today and being a part of my life. I will see you all again soon. Bye.